told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Welcome back to another episode of Zol Tank Boys. In this episode, guys, I'm going to catch you up on all the craziness that's been that, 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 okay? I'm going to catch you up on all the craziness that's been happening. I am super delayed on uploading video, guys, because I've been traveling for work past two months. I literally have been filming, uh, documenting, but I haven't been able to post anything or, um, uh, or, or put anything together. So this is going to be a really long video. And even with this video, we're not even up to speed. So Red Sea 350, tons of crazy updates. JBJ in the office, crazy, crazy updates, guys. But this is going to be a video where I'm going to try to bring you up to speed as much as I can. Now, before I go in too deep, don't forget the easiest way to support this channel is to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It lets me know that you like what you're seeing. Also, appreciate all the support. In the past two months, there's been so many comments, uh, messages saying, guys, where are you at? Where are the videos? They're here. They're here. Bear with me. Let's go. Ah! All right, Reefer. So here I am at the Winter Park location. I had to do a voiceover because they did have some pretty loud background music and I didn't want to get it flagged. So I did get lucky with a sale they had where you picked an egg and I actually got 40% off the entire purchase. So it really made sense to pick up a couple frags. So for starters, I picked up a big Illuminati frag, fully loaded with a bunch of heads. I also picked up a Charmander frag, again, fully stocked. And guys, I'm super excited to talk about this big, big Space Invader chalice. It's healthy, healthy specimen, but I'm gonna keep looking around the shop and see if there's anything else that I need. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna head home. I just got the goods. Can't wait to put it in the tank. Huge chalice, Zoas. Um, that sale made it really easy because it was Easter, so it worked out. You guys follow the Instagram. I don't know if I posted it, but I got a new car. Pretty cool. My other one was great. Let's go. It's about a rain, so let's be quick. So I just got home. I did catch uh, Morticia and put her in here because she's aggressive. So I'm going to move a couple corals around, then I'm going to add. The new corals, and that's gonna be super cool. Um, I do have some rainbow bubble tip anemones in here. Actually, they're anemones, but it was really one that split. But I'm not gonna talk about them too much because they're still acclimating. Um, you're gonna think I'm crazy. Look at the lights. Yeah, I wanted even spread. Plus, I wanted to get that radion and put it in my living room because I already have one in there, and the living room tank looks crazy. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my little station up. Got my bone cutters, my glue, my putty. So me being prepared is always the best way to do it. Cause you're not, you're not running around, you're not losing your mind when you're doing some of this stuff. All right guys, so for the past couple weeks, I've actually put coral in here just to acclimate and that's tester corals. So they're nowhere near in their permanent spot. I do have some Aptasia that I'm gonna take care of, but in this video, I just wanna get some of this coral in it's more uh, permanent spot, maybe not forever spot, but um, more permanent than it is now. So, first we're gonna start with this blasto. Now let's see if this clown is gonna get me. The big one usually isn't aggressive. Yeah. Look at this blasto. This is one of the OG blastos that I've had for a while. So we're gonna put a little glue. The way that I like to do it, I like to add a little polyp of blue, glue, some putty. And this is how they do it in a lot of the big box stores. I'm putting a little bit more than the usual because I'm sticking it to the rock. 
So this, hey, I almost cursed out. Beat it. Beat it. See how aggressive these guys are? Let me get a little stick to shush him. Actually, I might catch him as well. So. For now, I think he would actually do good right there. Yeah, I think that's a good spot for him. Leave a comment below if you have a crazy aggressive clown. I thought Morticia was the only one, but it seems like Gomez is also acting crazy. But it's because the anemones are there. So they're uber protective over the anemones. But you know what? I should catch them. And I put this little breeder box on the side because I am going to place the big chalice coral here. So I should probably catch them as well. All right, guys, real quick, this Echinata I actually picked up from Hector a couple weeks ago. Um, in this tank, it was browning out. It was literally all brown, and there's so much more color now in it. When he first got that, it was super, super orange, vibrant. So I feel pretty good that I'll be able to bring it back. Um, but yeah, leave a comment. What do you think? I think it's doing pretty good, if you ask me, in comparison to how it was. So... I did have an issue in my living room tank where my nitrates bottomed out. So I did have to move this really nice piece. I lost a lot of my big green candy cane. So I was able to frag that and save some of it right there. Um, so yeah, this guy, I'm thinking of putting him right either up there or maybe like right there. Well, maybe right there, actually. On a bigger piece, you want to put a good amount. I mean, not overwhelming amount, but a decent amount. Because it is heavy. And I don't want it too close to this chalice, because the chalice does have sweeper tentacles. Okay, so that's two. Is that everything else that I moved before I start? All right, guys. So here I'm cutting the stem off of this, because I am going to glue it directly to the rock. These zoanthids are called the Charmanders. And then these are the Illuminati. For the keyboard warriors, um, yes, you want to wear eye protection. I do have my glasses. You could even wear a mask. Um, I've never had issues with zoanthids. Not saying you can't. So I'm gonna make my little putty ball. My fingers are full of glue right now. These are the Illuminati's. This is actually probably one of my favorite Zoanthids. Trying to put a little dollop of glue. This is a big chunk of putty. You could do a little bit smaller. Like I said, this is going directly on the rock. This glue is so sticky. This is the Coral Fix Gel. I prefer it over the runny glue. All right, so I'm gonna use this net because I hate being bit by my clown, which is not my thing. And then I'm gonna glue this directly to right here. Pretty good spot. So now what do you need to do? I'm gonna wet them, because I don't want them to get dry. These are the Charmanders, Worldwide Corals Charmanders. I'm gonna do the same thing. Do my little ball. Very bright. Huh? Very bright. Yeah, those are very, very bright. thing. A little bit of glue. Putty. Glue. I don't think there's a way that you could do this and not be messy. Yeah. 
these are gonna put them right up here because I do want to create like a Zoa Garden effect. I do think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that looks pretty good there. Now my only concern, and I didn't think about this, is the sweeper tentacles on the Space Invader Chalice. Guys, I've been trying to catch this clown for a while. Let's see if I catch him. Because since those nems are there, he is so aggressive. Come on. Come on. That's pretty cool, huh? grew like that. Mm -hmm. I might be able to just leave it like that without glue. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we're back. Alright guys, check it out. I'm just going to grab him here from underneath. Now Hector, can you tell everybody what kind of mushroom this is? So this is a toxic hairy mushroom. We got it when it was about this big, guys. It was the size of the frag that it came with. Now when it's big and, and, and happy, it's actually larger than the palm of my hand. It's crazy. You can actually see all the colors, dude. It's crazy. That's a great spot for it. If you can't get all up in it, we can use a stick too. Dude, he is so big. He does not have a plug. So the goal is that he will just lay there if I can lower the flow. Let's see if he'll... Well, he he wants, we need to use a stick, right? Well, he wants to stay. I can I can put him there. It's just he wants to slide off of it. All right, that's fine. Let's use the stick, see if we can push him in there. Oh, I see what you're saying. So he just wants to lay out. All right, so we're going to use a stick, see if we can get him in the corner nicely. Change of plans. There was actually too much flow over there. So we decided to put him right here underneath the power head so that he has uh, minimal flow and he's able to acclimate to be able to attach to that rock. Guys, when he opens up, it's crazy. I mean, he's probably as big as the Echinata. Maybe. Nah, he's actually bigger than that. Yeah. He reminds me of the magic carpet mushroom, but instead of being with the uh, purple and the gold, it's neon green and yellowish. So you can kind of see some of the coloration there, guys. This is a really crazy, beautiful mushroom, so I cannot wait to see what happens. But Hector is gonna take this OG because it's not doing too good. And for some reason in this tank, um, this OG came back once, so let's hopefully do it again. So we got that mushroom there. We got the Duncan up there. I'm gonna leave the flow off for the rest of the night to let him get acclimated. Um, and then I'll give you guys an update in 24 hours. That's how you can tell we're good friends. We trade money. <laughs> Alright bro, you're also gonna take another mushroom, aren't you? Yep. So I have my golden gonzo bounce mushroom that's been here for about what, like eight months? Yeah. It's been here for a long time. Wasn't doing too good in my tank, but now I feel like my tank's good enough where it thrives with mushrooms, as you can see from this huge one here. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then bring that home. Hector is right here in the main display, Red C350. This tank is looking mighty juicy, baby. Um, I am gonna do a formal update on this aquarium. We got new lights, new corals, Mr. Marine Beta. But if you can see back there, back there, back there, there's the Gonzo. It even split and still has this bubble, if you can see it. So Hector's gonna get back there delicately, try not to knock out any more Monty. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Be careful. Beta, beta shouldn't do that. Be careful you're... I don't know, but Beta, he's not... He's not gonna bite you. 
Just don't break the Monty. It might be on there. You might not be able to take it out, be careful. Because that whole rock will come off, I think. If it doesn't come off easy, this whole rock is glued together, bro. Come, be careful. Did it pop off? All right, let me try something else. That's like surgery, bro. You got more thimble fingers than me. Is it even on a frag or is it on a rock? Um, the thing is, this this whole arm here mm. is glued. Like it's a glued rock. So it's not like part of the actual rock. So if we shake it too hard, that could crack this glued arm. Mm. You know what I mean? Well guys, I think I'm gonna have to wait until he changes his rock work. But I do see it here, and it's fine. Um, Unless you want to give me the this much from here. The biohazard? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Um, or the big Frank? You want the big Frank? Oh, man. I would gladly take that, Frank. Um. Well, I guess we're not going to take it today. That's fine. But we'll figure something out. I'll, I'll probably it's, get him with bone cutter or something another day. It's still in a good place. That's all that matters. In the good place. Take a look at the tank, guys. Hold on. Can't show too much, bro. Can't show too much. We're here at Reef of Palooza, guys. We're going to get a whole bunch of crazy coral, see all the new equipment. We got some of the boys here. Let's yeah. check this out. All right, guys, so we're here at the Coral King booth. He said it's his first show. If you don't follow him on Instagram, you have to. It's just crazy, got crazy some amazing stuff. stuff. So we're gonna let you guys take a peek at his booth. Um, if you like Scolies, um, Zoas, I mean, you name it, everything. He's got it all. So let's take a look at these corals. All right, guys, so I hit a really good booth. I'm getting a whole bunch of zoanthids, um, reef aquaculture specialist. Now, I've been to a lot of shows, they always have fire. So right now, I got me an Oompa Loompa frag, um, rainbow incinerators, and there's a couple more that I'm looking at. How much are your white zombies or seduction frags? Um, the uh, three pilot frags are sixty bucks. They're they're, they're true white zombies. So. Awesome. Some people call them salt of agaves, and I guess I think there's like two or three other names. Do those do good low or high light? Because um, I've 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 had such mixed on both of them. Some grow really fast and they die off for some reason. They'll do a little bit of both. They actually grow more a medium light with a higher flow actually. So um, they actually you can do a little bit of both. Of those. Lower the flow though, they're gonna or lower the light, they're gonna stretch. And the heads are going to be a little bigger. The higher the flow, higher, uh, higher light, they're going to shrink up a little bit and not stretch as much, kind of like those guys right there. But on the farm where I'm growing them at right now, they're in 12 inch troughs. Okay. And so they... David, did you get more stuff, bro? Yeah, man. I definitely did. All day. Got like five different corals. Guys, we literally raided that booth. Now we're going to keep going, see what else they got. Oh, yeah. Holy Grail Micro Musa coming back to my tank. What happened to the first one? Uh, my peppermint shrimp got to it. Did you get the peppermint shrimps out? I got two of them out. There's only Look one. Look who it is! Oh, oh I thought <laughs> that. I thought I was active. <laughs> What's Yo, going, on? going on? Did you buy a bunch of coral yet? Or? No, not yet. Not I'm yet. on the hunt for a scully. Haven't found one. They yet. have some good stuff. You do? There's so many. Yeah. I did some damage. Like I literally took like everything Classy. from that tank. Classy. Everything. So do you remember that tank that I had in my office? Did you see it? Yeah. I. It's only Zoas. Really? Like 99% Zoas. So I just got like eight. So are you keeping it? Yes. For, uh, for, now. for, for now. now. For now. For now. For now. 
I almost bought a peninsula. Anyways, well, that's enough. That's, that's enough. Uh, that is an excellent that's video. Next By the way, if you haven't seen her doing her breakdance moves on Instagram, oh my god, don't tell, don't tell people you gotta that. see it. <laughs> don't tell people about that. Oh my god, that's so good. Later. <laughs> you give him an inch, man takes a foot. Hey guys, you check out this crazy, insane frag plugs. They're glow in the dark. You got, you still got that photo? Check this out. Look, 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 look how they look when they're. In the, dark, in the dark, they right. soak up the light. I'm gonna need some of those, so at least two or three. We about to take some of these and try these out. Don't forget Hi, to check guys. them out. Do you guys have an Instagram? Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. Clear view aquatics and corals. All right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> take care. I'll be back. <laughs> and guys, we got some fire. When we first made it, when we first made it. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, do they like charge up or something like that? And then yeah, they, it absorbs the light. And then 20 minutes after. Oh man, yeah, that's fire. And it's still too bright in here, you know what I mean? That's cool. That's nuts. Now we're going to have to take a few of those. Now, now do they. Are they able to hold any type of beneficial bacteria? Are they porous or they're not, not porous? They're a solid. They're solid. They're okay. Solid. Okay. But they are inert, so they're not going to leach anything in the tank. He's the membership director of Nazareth. All right, cool. So I'm gonna grab two or three because I'm excited to see what that looks like. Me too. All right, Hector. So what are you picking up? I'm picking up a Frank. Got a crazy, insane deal. How to get it? For people that don't know what that means, could you explain a little bit more? It's a Frankenstein mushroom. Bounce. Cool. 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 They made a good decision. <laughs> he tried to get it. They don't know. It's somebody. Ah! Ah! Hermano! Say what's up. Hey! Hey, greetings, everybody. We are here at Rifa Palooza Orlando 2022. Wow! Rifa Ah, see, Boom. Yeah, it's amazing, man. How are you guys doing? We're great, we're great. Going yeah. around, it's got me a Frankenstein. It's, it's huge, right? So big, it's so, so much bigger big. than any other year. Yeah, it's amazing, man. How about the corals? I got a bunch of coral. That's Hector's first coral. Yeah. What about you? Nah, just doing my thing. You yeah? Know, vlogging right now. Okay. I can take corals to I Mexico. Know, it's I very know. sad, but... Here I am. Okay, good. Well, I like that jacket. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I'm with Bug Bar Corals right now. Oh, <laughs> looks yeah. good, looks good. It's huge, man. I'm gonna, this is something new. Exhibitors, not, do not forget to pick Not everybody lunches. knows, but I'm gonna make creating content in Spanish for World War Corals channel. Wow. International superstar. Exactly. Right it's here. gonna be amazing. Oh man, I love it. All right, baby, it was so nice guys. seeing you, man. Nice to see yeah, you too. Always a pleasure. Always All right, bro. Pleasure. We'll let you keep doing your thing. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're looking for Henry. Look, at, I'm looking. I'm looking for the worldwide corals, Pariguayo. I think yeah. I found him right here. He's right here. I'm number one. What's, What's up, up, bro? <laughs> now the whole crew is finally here. Hey, you see this man wearing an aqua shell shirt at Reefa Palooza? Don't be hating, bro. Look at this fool. Newbie 101. You get kicked out of here, bro. <laughs> Only the biggest show of the year. Biggest show of the year. <laughs> oh, All right, bro. If you guys don't follow him, Illusion Reefer on Instagram. What are you looking for? What corals are you looking for? Let's try to get a Will Sony today, so we'll see what we find. A Will Sony? All right. Frank and Fabry. Frank. And that's Frank and Hector because he got a Frankenstein. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, guys, we got some fire, fire, zoanthids. I had to hold Henry back because he was going to buy all of them. Yeah, tons of fire, guys. Wow, look at those torches. Euphilias. Look at that Colorado sunburst, guys. 
If you guys have never been to Reef of Palooza, recommend it. Tons of vendors, tons of really cool stuff. Tons of stuff. Oh, you see that blast on? Mm-hmm. Super vibrant. All right, Reefer, so we just did a bunch of shopping. The backpack is full of corals, and we gotta get home, put everything in the aquarium. Henry got a whole bunch of stuff. Hector had to leave early, but he also got some coral. So let's get all these corals in there, zoanthids, chalices, too much stuff. Way too much, let's go. All right, Reefer, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Zoa Tank Boys. Now, you know I cannot end this video without giving one of you a shout out. So I'm gonna put that comment right here. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know that you like what you're seeing and it allows me to interact with a lot of you back home. So if you're not following us on Instagram, give us a follow. We do a lot more uh, consistent updates there because it's quicker. But till next time, Zoa Tape Boys out.